Hey everyone, it's Nikki. If you haven't seen Squid Game yet, please save this video for later, but if you have, welcome. Today I'm going to be trying a Dalgona latte as well as some Dalgona, and I'll be reacting to some Squid Game TikToks that include some theories about the show that maybe you don't know yet. So let's get into it. So it's here, and I will show a close-up, but basically they put some Dalgona on top of the latte. So let me give it a try. Whoa. Okay, so to me this tastes like a perfect fall winter drink. It almost has like a smoky taste to it. Yeah, this drink would be perfect next to a fireplace during winter. I really like it. And here is the Dalgona. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Okay, so this reminds me completely of the crunchy candy bar. I don't know if you've had a crunchy before. I really like eating these things. So it's hard, but it melts in your mouth. So I think if you're in the US or the UK, you call this honeycomb. So in Korea, I guess they call it dalguna. Very good, I love it. Okay, so let's get into some TikToks. Okay, so let's begin with this TikTok about Squid Game color theory. Okay, so there's a very interesting Squid Game theory that people are talking about online. And it has to do with something from the very first episode. And it comes from the game that the salesman plays with ji in the very beginning. Okay, so before I go further, let's talk about gong -Yu for a second. I'm so surprised that he chose such a small role. I mean, it was an amazing role, of course, and like an epic scene. I think I have a TikTok in here saved of some people playing this game in other places in the world and subway stations. But anyway, I was surprised that he took this role and when I first saw that he was there, I assumed that he would be the boss of the whole game. So that's what I thought in the beginning because I was like, there's no way Gong Yu took such a small role. Like, that character has to have a bigger role later on. Anyways, as we saw in the first season, he doesn't appear to be the boss, but I just have a feeling that his character has a bigger role than we know right now. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. But, anyways, let's go on. Now look at these two colors. We got red and we got blue. What color does Jiyun go with? That's right. He chooses blue. Also, did anyone else get totally reminded of the Matrix with this choosing between red and blue? Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Okay, so let's go on. Then later he wakes up in a room in a bluish green jacket, just like everyone else. The theory is whatever color you pick from these cards, is the role you get in the squid game. If you choose blue, you're one of the players. But if you chose red, then you're one of the workers slash soldiers or leaders. This is an extremely interesting theory and I believe it goes along with the whole concept of the story. The old man was all about equality, making it fair for others. That choice in the beginning is a fair choice. It's a 50-50. And ironically enough, when another man is playing the game with a salesman, he too picked blue. Okay, so there's a very interesting... Okay, so 
interesting. I would not be surprised if this is true. And what I love about Squid Game is the director slash writer, which, yeah, just so you know, the writer is the same person as the director. He put a lot of thought into this script, and I love that because then it makes it something that you can watch multiple times and pick up on different things. And also, you can read into things because he obviously put a lot of thought into all of this. Guys, what color do you guys think he would pick, the blue or red, without knowing the consequences of the colors? Okay, so... Squid Game is the ultimate analogy for capitalism. Yes, the director did talk about how the whole script is about capitalism. And I think one of the reasons why Squid Game is so popular is that people can relate to it. You know, in Korea and the US, there is a big gap between the wealthy and the poor. Also in the US, people get into debt from just even going to college and because people can't afford healthcare. So this is really depressing because we're supposed to be one of the best countries in the world, or at least that's what we're told. And here we are having people go into debt simply because they get sick or simply because they have to go to college. So anyways, there are serious issues that should be discussed. And this is one of the reasons why I like Squid Game because it's touching on these very serious problems. Anyway, let's go on with watching this. These guys are the billionaire class, predominantly white males over the age of 50 who treat capitalism like it's a game and we are their pawns. The contestants represent the people or the 99% who are forced to play the game in order to survive because they're owned by the current system through credit, gambling debt, medical bills, and student loans. The money pit represents the outcome of capitalism. For a few to be rich, many must die. Once you start playing the game, there is no escape. It is live or die, which is true for many people around the world. We're even told that everybody has a fair opportunity, but this is false. The old man inserts himself into the game with all the answers. And the it, yeah, so in this show, there is the illusion of choice, which is very true for capitalist societies. In war game, he cheats and uses this information to win, which results in the other team being killed. Yeah, so of course, if you're born into a very wealthy family, then you have an advantage. But the disadvantage that people have when they're born into homes that aren't wealthy is exacerbated when money is not put into social programs and schools and things like that, which can make it more fair for everyone to have a chance at succeeding. It's very political, so I know a lot of people have different ideas about it, but it is definitely something that can get you thinking and talking about these issues. We then presents you with the illusion of choice. The people must be convinced that they're freely choosing to participate. However, the only winners in this game are the rich billionaire class who sit outside the game. Squid Game is the old. Okay, here is a TikTok that says my friend told me oh, to watch Squid Game in English so I tried it too and it's clown face. Okay so I obviously watched it in Korean and if you don't if you're learning Korean I suggest you check out my video on how to learn Korean with K-dramas. I'll link it at the end of this video in the description below. But uh yeah so <laughs> I have heard bad things about the English dubbing and I think always it's better not to watch with dubbing and to watch in the original language. I mean, of course, if you're doing other things while watching and you can't look at the subtitles, then dubbing is always there as like a second choice, but I don't think it's ever a good, a good choice. Okay, so let's watch this. Ah, this pathetic and get your hands off me stop calling me babe an old man huh call me that one more time and i'll put your throat out god, this oh my gosh that's funny that sounds ridiculous <laughs> but it does remind me of anime dubbing for sure okay well, let's go on in the back of his mind is Coretta, and she knows so, did anyone realize that in the tug and war game, everyone had lux except the old man? 
No, I did not realize this. Although in one of the first few episodes, I had a feeling that the old man was in on the game. And the reason was because I saw they had a shot of the people in charge of the game watching and they went over the old man and he had some symbol on his forehead. I'm forgetting which symbol it was. And I don't think anyone else did. So then I was like, okay, so why does he have that symbol on him? He must be part of the game in some way. So I thought, yeah, anyway. So there were clues that I picked on, but I did not see this one. And I know she knows, and I know she knows, and deep down she knows, she knows, and I know the back of his mind is Coretta. That's, that's crazy. I mean, you'd have to, I think you'd have to look pretty carefully to notice that. But, okay, so let's look further. Okay, this one says me on. This one is me on the fifth game of Squid Game. Me on the fifth game of Squid Game. Okay, just to be the realist here, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to walk like this in the game because they had rules about jumping from uh, glass to glass. But did anyone else, like, when you're watching, you're thinking of, like, how you could get around the game? Because they do set rules, but there are sometimes ways to overcome those rules or, like, loopholes. When I was watching the Marvel game, for example, and the old man and um, the main character are playing together, I felt like the old man was trying to have them both win, like, have a tie. Uh, so they could both go on to the next round. What did you guys think? And speaking of that, there is a TikTok that talks about a theory of the old man being the father of the main character. And I also picked up on hints of this when I was watching and I was thinking about it when I was watching it. So... So there's a crazy theory about the Netflix show Squid Game. Squid Game is so good. It's literally like number one in the world right now. Yeah, but this is a spoiler warning. Okay, that's really exciting. And it is super popular around the world. And I have to tell you, I'm an English teacher at an elementary school. And I was super surprised because a lot of my students have seen Squid Game or are talking about Squid Game. And I don't know how they're getting away with watching it or like if their parents are actually approving them watching it. But, um... I would say this is probably rated R, right? I mean, what do you guys think? There's definitely like sexual stuff and violence, so pretty inappropriate for young kids. Nowadays, it's more difficult for parents to monitor what their kids are doing because kids have smartphones and computers. So yeah. Okay, let's watch. For anyone who hasn't seen it yet so i read this article and there's a theory that you could tell that the old man was bad from the beginning honestly looking back on it i had no idea he was bad right but if you look closely when they're playing red light green light everyone is getting scanned by the robot except for the old man and he's the only one that's not nervous to i don't know if i noticed that or not pretty sure i didn't notice that but i thought he was just a little bit crazy because he said he had a tumor in his brain so i thought he was a little crazy and that's why he was smiling like that and just super excited plus he didn't have much to lose because he was going to die soon anyway play and early in the show we see someone take off their vip mask and if you look at their hand it's the old man's hand i never realized that you that's crazy that's crazy did you guys notice that <laughs> okay see him take off the mask right and you know how all the players are always trying to figure out which game is next yeah did you know that if they just looked around and moved all the beds all the games are drawn on the yeah, I had no idea. Wall, in the order that they're played. Wait, are you serious? Every yeah, I had no idea that the, that's what was drawn on the wall. I noticed there was stuff drawn on the wall, but I didn't know what it was for. Ever since they entered the room, the games have been on the wall. The writing of the show is so good, I never even realized all these Easter eggs. 
Seriously, the writing of the show is really great, like awesome. But I have to say, I also watched an interview with the actors and the writer and director, and Lee Jong Jae, the main actor, talked about how he put a lot of thought in how to make his character likable. And wow, like that really impressed me because I really didn't like that character at first. But he talked to the director about like, hey, like how are we going to have people root for my character? How are we going to make this character more likable? And then they added the scene with the stray cat. And then remember the scene where he's running and he bumps into the girl and she steals from him? And he picks up her coffee. He doesn't know that she stole, of course. And he picks up her coffee and gives it back to her. Well, that was, he just did that spontaneously when they were filming. And he said like, she was actually laughing when she's looking down like that. Yeah, so anyways, I got a lot of respect for that actor when I learned that he put so much thought into his character. And those scenes, the stray cat scene and him picking up the coffee were moments where I started liking him as the main character. Because at first, I just really had no respect for him because he was stealing from his mom and he was kind of just like not taking responsibility for things. So those are the moments where I started rooting for him. And of course, as the series goes on, I root for him even more because you can see that he's a really nice person and he really looks out for those around him. So I rooted for him even more, but yeah. Okay, so more Squid Game theories, please. Let's see. So there's a crazy theory about Gion and the old man from the show Squid Games. All right, let's hear it. So remember how close the old man was to Gion? Yeah. So there's a theory that the old man is actually the dad of Gion. Wait, what? So an episode... Yeah, I also picked up on this when I was watching it, and I thought that might be the case. Three, Gion asks for chocolate milk when the workers are handing out regular milk because he's allergic to dairy. And then the old man says, I'm willing to bet as a kid you got spanked a lot. And then Gion says, how'd you know that? Then the old man says, my son did too. He was just like you, friend. Wait, what the- mm, I'm pretty sure that's when I started picking up on it. Um, yeah, I noticed when he said that. He's basically saying that he's exactly like his son. And then when they're playing the marbles game, the old man says, You know, when I was a kid, I lived in a neighborhood just like this. And then Gion says, So did I. And then when the old man starts, mm, Yeah, yeah, I noticed that as well. His memory, he asks Gion, What day is it? And he says, Is today the 24th? Because his son's birthday is in a couple days. And guess what day Gion's birthday is? What? At the beginning of the show, when Gion's trying to get money out of the ATM, he types in his birthday as a pin. Okay, that's crazy that these guys picked up on what date he typed in there because it's not something i would have thought to note down but obviously the writer slash director put a lot of thought into this and his birthday is april 26 just a couple days after the 24th just like the old man's son stop it so there's a crazy oh my gosh whoa okay Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing because I live in Korea and I do videos about living in Korea and how to learn Korean. And please check out some of the other videos on my channel. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.